Hello, my name is Mr. Tapola, and today we are going to dive into the topic of polygons. The first type of polygons that we are going to work with in this video are triangles. There's four classifications of triangles of which we are go I'm going to show you today. The first type of triangle is the isosceles triangle. The isosceles triangle has two equal sides, as designated by these marks. These marks represent that the sides are equal, and then the one line at the bottom means that it is a different equal angle. The second type of triangle that I am going to demonstrate would be the right triangle. The right triangle also has two equal sides and then the hypotenuse being the biggest side. The nice thing about right triangles is they have this mark right here this half box that designates that that is a 90 degree angle. The third type of triangle is the scalene triangle. With this triangle, no sides are equal. So, you're going to put different hash marks to represent that those sides are all different. The last triangle, and the easiest to identify, is the equilateral triangle. Because all three sides are equal. Now that's it for the triangles. Well, I am now going to show you, in this video, quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have four sides, and I will be showing you five of them. The first of the five types of quadrilaterals is the square. The square has four equal sides, and you can also compose it of four right angles. The second type of quadrilateral is the rectangle. The rectangle does not have four equal sides. It has two equal parallel sides, which means that the left and the right sides are equal, and the top and the bottom sides are equal. You can also indicate it with four right angles, as you can the square. The third type of quadrilateral is the parallelogram. The parallelogram has two pairs of parallel lines, and they're also equal to one another, like the rectangle. So you have the left and the right being equal, and the top and the bottom being equal, again, as designated by the equal lines. But, unlike the rectangle and the square, it does not form any right angles. The second to last quadrilateral that I am going to show you today is the rhombus. Now, the rhombus 
has four equal sides like the square but it is not classified as a square but it is classified as a smaller parallelogram as you can see that the parallelogram is longer and the rhombus is shorter so therefore it shares qualities of both the square and the parallelogram the last quadrilateral that I am going to demonstrate on this video today is the trapezoid the trapezoid will have equal marks here and here but it also has one set of parallel lines now don't let this trick you because parallel lines can be parallel to each other but they do not need to be the same length to be parallel so here's one parallel line here's the other parallel line so even though they are different lengths they are still parallel to one another that is all the info that I can give you on triangle types and parallelogram to uh, quadrilateral types for parallel uh, for polygons and I will have more examples as this movie goes forward